All right, good morning out the field with Pete. Hi, Pete. Good morning. And uh, got the T28. I've only got about four or five flights on this. I've checked the log. A um, couple of real quick highlights on it. I've got a problem with one of the gears. Just doesn't want to consistently open and close. Uh, I do notice that when it's in the air, uh, the gear doors won't shut all the way. Uh, this flight, I'm going to try to go slower when I'm raising the gear up, just to make sure, it's, you know, whether or not it could be wind resistance on the gear doors. But got a GPS logger on it this morning. This comes from the factory, able to fly on a 4S, 5S, or 6S battery, which to me is pretty good because you don't got to do any prop changes with it. And you just change whatever battery you want and go. So I got a, a big five GPS logger on here. We're going to see. Uh, how fast it'll go on each one of those batteries. Uh, 4S just for perception uh, was a nice scale slow flyer and then 5S was a um, uh, definitely a little more exciting had some more power. It was not unlimited vertical that I saw it looked like it would peak, peak out and then I uh, finally got a 6S battery ordered and, and it's in so we'll try it with each one. Stand by. Alright hopefully you can see that. If not uh have to just Go with uh, my visual verification at zero miles per hour, so it's it's uh, ready to go. Low rates on the ailerons, mid on everything else. All right, coming out, and we are going to uh, just do level flights on it. little slower speed there we'll make a pass here first and see if the gear came up or not nope gear doors are still hanging open alright we'll make two level speed passes right here in front of us that way we're not corrupting the data with dives and stuff between flights right here speed pass number one is full throttle letting off come back the other way full throttle And let back off, and we'll come around for a landing. All right. What do you think on that, uh, Pete? We're good. On speed wise, what do you think? Yeah. I'm going to say Moderate. 50. I'll say 55. Yeah. All right, motor's off. Let's take a look. All right, so we just lifted that, and it says 72 on it, miles per hour. I'm really surprised. I did not think it would be that fast. It's deceiving. Yeah, what do you think? All right, so there it is. Peak speed on that 4S was 72 miles per hour. Very surprised. I really thought it was around 55. All right, stand by and we'll get the 5S on. All right, here it is. 5S flight. We're recording on our big five. It's been zeroed out. 72 on the 4S. Gears coming up. And here is our first pass. Coming back the other way. And then we'll come in for a landing.
84. 84 is your guess. All right, there it is. The over-under has been set for 84. And the survey says, wow, 82. 82. All right, here we go. This is on a 6S battery. Five. Uh, this is six. six. There's pass number one. Definitely has a lot more well, noise to it. Well, I thought the 4S was only around 55. That proved to be 72. There's past two. Yeah, I thought the uh, 4S was only 55 or so, but it was 72, and this one looks to me like 75. <laughs> so it's probably going to be a lot faster than that. We'll come around for a landing now. Let's see here. Yeah, I'm looking forward to getting some actual flights in with that 6S in here. Alright, motor's off. 92. Huh. It's all a 10 uh, uh, mile an hour split. 4S was 72. 5S is 82 and the 6s is 92 who would have thunk you get 10 miles an hour per per cell but i tell you to me it was a perceivable difference on the 5s and the i mean excuse me the 6s and the 4s 6s you felt like don't let go of the sticks but i've got a jet over there that does the same on a 5s about 91 and uh i don't know uh, maybe it's just because this one is more Controllable, I guess it's got a bigger uh, wing area a jets a little short stubby wing so slightest movements and she rocks Whereas this one's a little more stable up there. So it might just be a perception issue. All right. Thanks for watching